I think it's it's close to a tipping point of, of 3D um, and it has kind of created such a, a hype. Um, also, it started with you know the technical, the nerdy guys building them themselves and yeah. there's like home built kind of self-made kits available mm -hmm. for a few hundred dollars, um, although this is a homemade thing. And MakerBot actually was probably the first real commercial professional company mm -hmm. who who made it ready to use. I describe this as almost like a, a vacuum cleaner. This is ready to go, you plug it in, you press start, you go. It is pretty much like a regular printer. I mean, the, the, the setup in terms of feeding the material in is a bit more complex than just you know switching a cartridge, but that's about it. I mean, you need to actually have to design all that. We'll talk about that in a second, yeah. but it is now a relatively, I mean, it comes pre-assembled. Yeah. This is the, the best-selling desktop printer. Mm -hmm. So when we maybe talk about price, we need to actually position the whole 3D printer range. Yeah. Because 3D printer is just a, it's an umbrella term for so many different types of printers. So there are, there are professional ones where you would produce and, and print. Print is maybe not the best word, but let's say print yeah. metal. That's yeah. like three, four million rand. Um, and there are the, the high professional ones that mostly half a million to 300,000. Mm -hmm. And these are the, that's why we call them desktop kind of 3D printer yeah. for the normal household. And this is now at the, at the moment, exchange rate is not helping. Yeah. But it's for, <laughs> <laughs> at the moment it goes for 36,000. Oh, well, this machine uh, uses PLA plastic. Uh, it's based on cornstarch, so it's a lot more eco-friendly than other plastic like ABS. Yeah. That's a usual industrial plastic, which many other printers use. Mm -hmm. And um, well, it's, it's very simple and easy to handle. That helps a lot. It's non-toxic, no toxic fumes, you know, you, I mean, we, we know of American households now where their parents print toys for their kids and if they break it, you know, they just print another one. If they <laughs> chew on it, it's not toxic. People design, for example, they, they, they break their iPhone cover. Yeah. So, one of the, so they use a 3D software, a Google SketchUp is just a free kind of or AutoCAD. Mm -hmm. They print it, uh, so they design it and they say, oh, you know what? Let me share it with others. Others might also know that. So that's where they actually upload it on, on Thingiverse. That's the platform. Um, you're not allowed to commercially use it. So most of those designs actually we, we downloaded from there. So we, we often get actually asked, oh, can we buy them or are we not allowed to, yeah. to sell them commercially? Um, but if you break your iPhone case and you, it's just for you, you're allowed to download this. Uh, depending on what format it is, you can even change the design and put like, your initials on the backside or something. Mm -hmm. And then you can print it. 